For hands of gold are always cold, but a woman's hands are warm. For hands of gold are always cold, but a woman's hands are warm. I turn the TV off, darling. It's got to be quiet. Let's go put it on a bit quiet, okay? You watch Sissy's phone quietly. Her phone's broken. Oh, right. <clears throat> so that's what you were talking about before. I thought you were just saying, like, when it breaks, but I didn't realise it was just broken. Um, I'm trying to, like, <clears throat> hold hope that maybe it'll start We don't have Asians around here to fix it. <laughs> no rice will lure them in. I tried, the rice is still on the bench. <clears throat> You've ruined my plan. <laughs> I was there for one night and they didn't come. They're alive, just like Santa Claus. Shouldn't say that out loud with kids. It's a terrible thing to say. Sorry. <laughs> Good thing she doesn't know what I'm saying. Yeah. <clears throat> terrible. See, I'm a great father. <laughs> Welcome back everybody to part 20 of our Trials of the Seven Kingdoms Let's Play. Garland is in the north. He's fighting off wildlings. And yeah, that's where we're at. We're uh, just killing dudes at the moment. That, that's basically all we got as plans. It's Egret. We're trying to take out these bigger stacks of them so that we can actually siege them out. That's the plan. Big brain it. Big brain it. Bigger Branit. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, part 20, guys. Amazing. Feels great. We've got almost... Oh, we've got over 20 hours of content in this series alone now. Feels good. Um, do you guys have any suggestions for any other mods or games to try out? I'm not going to put this one on hold, but I'd like to do a second series. Um, let me know what you guys think we should do. Drop it in the comments. Games you're a big fan of, um, Total War games, anything like that. I'm a big fan of almost every strategy title. And a lot of, like, adventure games as well. So, let me know what you guys want me to do, and I'll get to it. For now, let's get into this first battle. The Eleftheroi have become rebels. Rebels that we must deal with, men. Now, will they face us like men, or flee like cowards? Let's find out. Are they running to us? I think they're running to us. Oh my god, they're actually coming to us. The AI is doing it! They have the guts to charge us this time! Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, they don't. They're going so- Damn it! Tail worlds, I keep praising your AI, and it keeps making me a liar. God damn it! They got five archers, I'm really not concerned. Alrighty, and yeah, we, we might get crashes. Remember, still the beta of the mod. Just early access. You can gain access to the early access by becoming a patron for the Trials of the Seven Kingdoms uh, mod group. You can do that over on their Discord, link will be below. Massive shout out to those guys for letting me play this early. Oh, the, the AI is glitching out. It's like, oh god, they have a lot more dudes than us. Where do we go? I have to run my dudes all the way up here because they decided to hide so damn far away. 
Oh, y'all are going to get shredded now. Infantry to here. Oh, yeah. That's it, men of the north. Hold the lines. Hold the line. Charge! Cut down the wildling scum! Most of these are northerners. It's kind of hilarious, actually. There's not very many wildlings in their ranks, I'm not gonna lie. Get them, lads! I'll support you and break up their lines! Ah! That's it, the shield wall is crumbled. Push! Crush them! Leave none alive! No mercy! Because Cobra Kai, in fact, never dies. I don't know if I can get copyright struck for saying things like that. I don't know how YouTube works. Ah! Fun fact, I don't get copyright striked for my, um, for the Hands of Gold cover, or the Hands of Gold, um, intro, but I did get copyright striked for the Game of Thrones intro itself. Oh, and for, um, the, the Rands of Castamere. It's interesting to me. Maybe good old Ed Sheeran's not so um, Nazi about his music. <laughs> the King of the North. We will be the King of the North. And then we will be the King of the South. And then we will be the King of all of the Seven Kingdoms. Da 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 ba da ba da ba da killing all of their dudes. We're hunting the wildlings down so we can kill all of their lords. It's like that's how it got us in trouble last time. Let's not do that. Yeah, the no, not everybody hates us all the way like they did last campaign because we uh, executed all the. Greyjoys, I don't know if anyone remembers during the start of the campaign against them, we just killed all their lords and left Theon alive. Or at this time, they're all alive. Roose Bolton's a- Damn it! Why are we at war with everybody? I'm gonna have to peace out with somebody here. Castle Black, I don't even believe, has the money to help me out. We're gonna do this tournament, get an extra bit of combat in, do a quick save, make sure we do lots of these. In case you do have a crash, I can just jump right back in. No hesitation. No surrender. No mercy. Let's do this. Woo. Okay, let's go. We've got Night's Watch Light Cav as our infantryman with us. Ah! Getting in my way, fool. Oh! Random Reach Cavalryman. Oh, that guy's down. Block. Hit that guy. Give me the horse. Please kill that. Thank you, lads. You do not face Garland today. You are not worthy. We stole that man's horse, and now it is ours. Lila. Child over there making weird noises. Ooh, tricky. Oh, 
Oh, oh, you took my victory. Much like Jamie Lannister when Eddard Stark was stabbed with a spear, I am enraged. That was a hard-fought battle between me and that man, and that guy just came in and interrupted it. How rude. Oh, sir, I'm not as fast as you. You really shouldn't run up at them like that. At least one of them's a little bit slower, too. Oh. Ah! I will avenge him! On guard! I don't want a Bolton tunic, to be totally honest. That's going to get sold, like, immediately. We need to get somewhere where we can sell things. That's the problem. It's interesting that we are at war with the Wildlings. I mean, we hold Castle Black, I suppose. They don't really have anyone else to declare war on, except for maybe the Boltons in the north. But, like, who else do they interact with? Their interactions are with us at Castle Black and everyone else that passes through us. Which is only really the north and the Boltons when they're not at war with us. What we should do is seek peace with Eddard Stark. Ride on the Dreadfort and attempt to defeat the Boltons so that we can turn our attention north on the Wildlings. It's going to be a pain, but it is something we can do. Um, all right, go to the keep, go to the dungeon, manage prisoners. This guy in here, this guy in here. All right. Heiress of the Eleftheri and Desmond, both locked in the dungeons of Castle Black for siding with the Wildlands. Now, our army costs us two grand a day. We need peace. Because currently, there's not too many ways for us to really get a great deal of cash. Because we, we've got a lot of stuff. Like, we can go make a lot of money. But we need to be able to go into one of these cities to make money. I need to know, can we go into this rebel city for the purpose of sales still? Haha, <laughs> yes, it's just a rebel owned city, so I can do this. Alright, trade. <clears throat> They've got 36 grand here. Okay, okay, okay. Reset that. Because I'm not selling this for less than it's worth. Alright, we'll make this city go completely bankrupt. That'll that'll send the people here even more annoyed. Alright, we'll take that. And we can still get heaps for what we've got in weapons and uh, bows and stuff. Uh, I think we wait here for some time until daytime. Join the arena. Get as mu milk as much money from this settlement as possible. And then we'll move to the next uh, rebelly owned settlement. Rebelly. That's not a word. We'll go over there and we'll collect their money. And then we might have the money to both peace out with Eddard Stark and go to war with the Boltons. <clears throat> but only then will we have the funds we need. Because we need them to back the f*** down. Ah! You would face me on a horse? Man has no honour. A girl lacks honor. Ah! Ah! Aha! Ah! See? Horseback riders, dude. Get off. Get off. Oh, did you say I get a horse now? Are oh, you in trouble now, man? I got a spear and you got a sword. Horseback is not gonna go your way, sir. Go on, turn. Gotta be careful of that other spearman. I've gotta separate him and his cav companion here. Whoa, that's a fast dude, man. Make some speed. Oh, no way. That was the worst spear thrust ever, but it worked. So we take it. Alright, we go to war. We challenge the enemy. Right, just one moment. Alright, we'll get help our warrior gang up on this spearman. 
That way he can't be an issue for us. Now our spearman should wreck that guy. We can come and help deal with this cav. Oh, I'm in the middle of two dudes and need to get out. That's a terrible spot to be. The man in white. He needs to die. Ah, ah gotcha. You may not match Garland in swordsmanship. Not today. Garland needs to find a more appropriate Knight of the Seven Kingdoms helmet. Currently, I could be quite well mistaken for a, um, a Dorn Dornishman. The Dornishman's wife. Ah! Smack that dude. Why would I use the bow when the axe is so much more effective? You just run at them and hit, and hit them in the face and they die. Yeah, you want some of this? Don't think you do, bro. You're not ready. Young warrior. You put up a good fight, Mr. Archer, but you could not defeat me. Unnamed Umber Archer. He will be missed. Well, it's great for us. We respawn if we lose a tournament. I'm pretty sure they die. Not counting the, like, named characters. I'm just going to assume... Right, I know that... Oh, obviously, they're, obviously they don't, because they're normally made up of your soldiers, I guess. And then you'd be incurring losses from tournaments. That would be an interesting mechanic, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. It would make sense. If you're competing against your own people in a tournament and you kill them in the tournament, theoretically, they should be dead outside, right? Oh. Oh. Okay, quick save. That was a bit of lag, so we're going quick save. We have fear of the crash, so we quick save every time. Uh, any Boltons for me to murder over here? Have they sieged my stuff yet? Like, I'm really confused as to why they haven't. <gasps> Lud Whitehill. That's got a, he's got a much larger army than his friends. That's who we want to capture. Remove the men with the big hundred stacks and make it so that they can't really siege our castles effectively. All these men they have. They only have them while they have the lords. The more lords we imprison, the less men they have. Well, they might have all the men, but they don't have anyone to lead them, so it doesn't really work in their favour. We are quite weak as a kingdom. Still haven't pieced out with the north, but as I said last episode, I believe, there's a big rebel barrier between us and the north, so there's not really too much they're going to do to us, I don't think. Also last episode, we sold back half their lords, which was a mistake. But we also beat half their lords in combat, which would have massively hurt their numbers. Um, I like this position, like it's good. We've got to, like, rush up on it. Uh, infantry back. Archers right up at the front. Infantry here. Cav directly behind. Ready, go. Oh. Everyone with me. Cav, hold here. They're going to hold that hill, which would be pretty useful for them, not going to lie. But we actually have a pretty good angle on them from this hill. We almost have higher ground than they do. I really like the um, a lot of the new maps, or well, the new map looks anyway. Right, you lot to their infantry directly behind like that. They don't have much of a force. This is probably going to be over with just our archers shredding them. They do have cav, which we don't really have in abundance. Like, really at all. We have like 7 horses and they have 22. Good little differential there. Alright, archers. Loose!
Lud White Hill just went down. Alright, infantry charge. They don't have their commander, we're charging. Their morale is absolutely weak right now. They have no one to command them. Their men are probably just gonna go absolute in. Ah! Fear the power of the infantry push. Your wall will break under me! Yeah, go on, turn around, lads. That's it, turn around. <laughs> Guys, look, I'm over here. Guys, look, over here. <laughs> Dude, such a troll thing to do. Ah, yeah, face me. I'm the target you want to go after, I swear. Ha. Alrighty. To the archers, lads. Ah! Ah! Whoop! We appear to have made the archers angry. Good thing we're leading them into our infantry. We fear nothing, least of all Bolton scum. We'll make them pay for the Red Wedding that didn't happen in this timeline. We've done it lads. Another win for the Tyrell Dawn. No mercy. No one escapes. Try and see if we can squeeze in a siege this battle. We should have the f money to fund it at the very least. That's all what it comes down to. Um, also, Sir Sock, if you're watching this uh, in the future, can you have a look into... Um, uh, I'll show you in a second the party bringing your armies together. It's saying for basically everyone, even when I was a vassal for the Starks, it was telling me that nobody was above like half their max party size, so I couldn't actually bring them into the party. Um, I don't know if it's still doing it. Yeah, so he's got 62 men and I can't even use him because he's got less than 40% of his party size limit. Um, is there a way to mess with that? Like, uh, if we go clan, is it in parties maybe? Like, can we limit his yeah so if we to do this right and bring him back to like the same wage i'd put on a castle like 850 or something priority uh we'll make him defensive unless i call on him and we'll do that um so pi says 62 out of 355 okay i see the problem i think he just needs more men it's just a pain like that I feel like it's taking uh, the officers longer to uh, like get troops together this this time around. I don't mind it. Oh, Roos Bolton is right there, dude. We send our troops to this one. 11 wounded. Not a problem. Take his men as prisoners. Turn and take Roos Bolton. If we capture him, that's a big blow to the Boltons. Then we need to capture Ramsey. Um, Lady Walder and a few others as their main family if we can take care of them please turn on me turn on me oh please we get three lords here yes dude oh saucy 173 versus 197 technically our numbers are actually quite balanced the only difference is we have a lot of archers and I don't really know what they have the Boltons are notorious for long spears and big shields I don't know if their troop tree um, represents that. I haven't really gotten that many Boltons. 
Actually, I think there was a couple of Bolton spears I had that were like super long spears. I want to do a Bolton only campaign or something and just run a bunch of Bolton spears, shield wall everywhere, circle formation. Um, alrighty, what are we looking at? We've got 98 archers, 93 infantry. The map is big, wide, open, I like it. Um, I'd assume they'd come to us, right? Like, it's not like they're vastly outnumbered. I mean, if I was them, I'd be coming, I'd be running at us. Because we have an archer superiority, and unless their infantry gets among our archers, they have nothing they can do. Alright, infantry, I want to position you guys here in a shield wall. Cav right back out of the way. Whoa! That was crazy. That was one of the spears glitching out on the cab. Made the whole sky go weird for a second. That was nets. Bro, look at that hill. They have such a nice hill if they stayed on that. I think they're coming to us. I don't know. So 53 archers versus 90. Yeah, I think they're coming in to us this time. Infantry form up on this little ridge. I put them in that little ditch hoping they wouldn't get shot at, but now I'm thinking I really do need them front and center. Right, that guy there, what's he? He's a stark warrior. He's just got a super long spear. Do we have any Bolton shields in here? No, we haven't really recruited. Oh, yeah, there's one. I don't think it's a good one, though. What is he? Oh, he's a Bolton house guard. Okay. So he's a, he's a swordsman, though. He's a spear, not a spear. Makes sense. Come on, lads. They're going to crest the hill soon. There they are. I saw a couple of them peek. Right there. They're going to stop right there, dude. Alright. That's a pain. I need to peek. Y'all oh, cover me. A little archer squad. Shield up. Their line should be just up here in about 100 meters. Not very far off. There's their horses. Up, oh, yep. Alright, they formed a, a circle. That's always nice. Wouldn't recommend it. But it's always nice. Uh, you all in line and then get up here. Cav, just chill back here. You're not going to be useful in this battle. Unfortunately, the Bolton Cav just has got a superiority over us. There's 79 arch, so I really shouldn't be peeking up like that. I'm gonna sit back for a sec until our forces pull up. Our infantry's gonna be slower than our archers, but they have far less infantry than we have archers, so I'm going to guess that we shred them. That's it, boys. Move on up. Up the ridge. We've probably got some upgrades uh, stacked on these guys, not gonna lie. Probably some army upgrades, but it costs so much extra money on upkeep. But it's not making enough right now to be really going for a fully fleshed out army. That's why I'm running around with 200 dudes instead of just max partying. Especially with another party out. like the, He's probably going to end up having more men than me more than likely at one point. There we go. Now our archers get to do their work. Some of them aren't firing, but it's alright. I don't mind. The majority of them are. Andal Elite Bow. Oh, they've split their men up. This is what we wanted. Now we get to do this. And their infantry just gets overwhelmed. Well, their front line of archers that they sent forward and house guards, all their good units just, just went forward. <laughs> and now their infantry is coming in. Little bit delayed. It's alright, guys. I'm sure you had your reasons. Like cowering due to archer fire. Ah!
Gotcha! And you get some more one-handed. That's why I'm just running around chopping dudes with the sword instead of one-shotting them with the axe. Yeah. 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 One hand skill needed. I gotta get um, some archery skill at one point so I can buff up our archers. Myself a half decent bow. And stab. And stab. Oh, that one only did 24. The king in the north. Damn fucking straight. It's not going to be Roost Bolton, that's for sure. Man's just getting locked up in my dungeon. Ha ha! We've done it, man. 14 of our men died, 6 wounded. It's alright. We don't mind those losses, especially when we killed 117 of theirs and 53 of theirs are wounded. It's a good spot to be in. Griff Whitehill, you are my prisoner. Osmond of the Brotherhood, prisoner. Bruce Bolton, prisoner. Give me all of your men as prisoners. 118 prisoners we currently have. We're going to be slow as hell. Make our way towards Carhold, I believe is our other settlement. A cracked U bow. I'll take that for now. And we'll actually lock the cracked U bow. We can sell the extras because they're worth an absolute ton. Take that, take that. Any good stuff in here? Lannister boots. I don't know if there's going to be anything in here that really beats what I'm wearing right now anyway. Nah. It wasn't a big enough army to really reward that heavily, but it was a good little force we got to take out. All these little skirmishes amount to a lot. I'm telling you what, I'm not excited to go south and face the Riverlands at one point. And the, um, the Westerlands, they're going to have big armies. These guys are like, uh, he's, is he running off with our Lord? Yeah, sure am. Take hostile action. No, wait, 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 wait. Take hostile action. Give recruits. Oh, they insist on a fight. I don't really want to kill them. I want to take the Dread Fort, so I don't want to enrage the people living there. Oh, that's adorable. Wait, they sent a courier to ransom a Bolton officer, but not to ransom the lord of their... Okay, that's fine. I'll just chuck him in the dungeon. Uh, go to dungeon, manage prisoners. Lud Whitehill. Um, Bolton officer. Roos Bolton, Griff Whitehill, Osmond of the Brotherhood. They lost a lot. Oh, that's five of their commanders. Just while we're walking through their territory. I think three of them had parties over a hundred. It's pretty good. That must suck to be in here, huh? Yeah, he's, he's in here, guys. Yeah, we know. Uh, Raquel the Brax. How's the town going? Wife. Okay. It's never because our construction's low because people aren't happy at the moment. It's all right. Expected that. All righty. Just going to... Wait, do we have enough money in this city to sell things? Not really. <laughs> all right. <laughs> We adventure to the nearest rebel settlement. We'll sell our prisoners in the tavern. Because we can do that for a cheeky 11 grand. Oh, wait. Did we have recruits we could pick up here? We should take out that um, lord right there. The Brotherhood guy. You. Raymond of the Brotherhood, you should not be in my land, sir. That was your mistake. Roaming into my territory on your own with only 50 dudes. The gall on this man. The audacity. 
Cracked Bolt and Shield. It's better than my shield, but I like my shield because it looks nice. Not really. It actually looks kind of terrible. Um, another one, Sock, if you're, if you're here, my dude, uh, watching this. Um, does Banner Paste run properly with this? I think I actually saw it in your load order when you were showing me. Um, let me know, and we'll try and get a proper Tyrell, uh, custom Tyrell Dawn banner going for this Let's Play. Alright, back to the keep. Uh, back to the dungeon. Manage the prisoners. <laughs> Look, more Brotherhood people. Welcome. Now your friend is here. These fools of Tooks. I just bolt an officer. I think the Umbers have the same thing. They have like Umber officers and things. Alrighty, now we ride. Hey, Ronald Harkley or Harkley? I I don't know. Pronunciation corrections in the comments below. We'll just jump all of the Bolton Lords around here. That was 120. That needs to be dealt with. You know, we're at war, surrender or die, blah, blah, blah. You know how this goes, Ronald. All right. Garland is a little bit younger. You can see his youth in his face up there. As I said, this Garland's a little bit earlier in his journey than our previous one was. Not as threatened, but earlier. Not as surrounded by enemies on all sides. Now we've got enemies on all sides, but they're much weaker. And we're in a much more solid position to actually fight them. We've got two small houses we're at war with, some rebels in the area, and then the north, which is basically three castles and two cities right now. It's not exactly the most solid the north has ever been. Ah, I was like, where's my army? Invisible soldiers! The snow hides all! Alright, you know what? Just shield wall, push, arrows, um, uh, how do you tell them to skirmish, question mark? Do I just hit delegate and they'll just do it themselves and form a skirmishing line, I think? That's kind of stupid. Wait, are they actually running at me? No, I think they're trying to get a position, but we're just going to push them. No fear, men. None. I will ride with you. Well, march with you. I got off my horse to serve in the front line of battle. Their cab's coming. Forward! Cut them down! Shields up! Push forward! Together, lads! Cover the man to the next side of you! Ah! Their cav has charged us! Our cav has showed up to assist by the looks of it. Whoop! Shields! Push together, man! Here comes their infantry! Ah! They're down, push! Push them back! Ah! Push their archers! Force them into combat! And that's how the Battle of Bastards should have gone. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not. Jon Snow's a terrible strategist. Mans is like, we've dug trenches so we won't get surrounded. Now, everybody rush him at once. Not one of those men of war had a brain as to how a war should be fought. Except for Ramsey, to be totally honest, he's the only guy there that actually had an efficient plan. It just so happened that, you know, he didn't count on the Knights of the Vale showing up since they've been uninvolved in everyone else's affairs for the last 150 years. 
Ugh. Ronald Harclay, you are now my prisoner. Welcome. I will take you to your Bolton friends. You will be reunited with your liege lord. In the dungeons. I've got too much stuff to carry. Oh no, we've got horses there, so we don't have too much stuff to carry. <laughs> if is, we've got like so much stuff we're actually carrying. If we can't fight another party, we won't be able to like move. I've got to make it to one of these rebel towns. And see look, Harwood Stout right there. Another man that looks pretty tough. Dungeons, manage prisoners. Look at the collection of lords we have in here. All the fools who have challenged us. We'll have a look at the war effort here in a minute. We'll do a quick save and then we'll go into the kingdom's panel and diplomacy and see what the state of the war is like. See just how much the Boltons are hurting with how many men we've taken from them. Now, keep in mind, our number's going to be low because we don't have much. Like, our army and this other random dude running around in our garrison. That's our numbers. But considering he's down to 1,700, we're doing pretty good. He's inflicted 54 casualties to our 489. Uh, the North is at war. We'd be pay you're paying them 1,700 tribute a day. 740 to the free folk. I'm not paying the free folk for peace, dude. Hell nah. The, the free folk we could almost go and defeat ourselves if we could actually muster our forces. Um, Alright, we'll peace out with the Starks. That's it. We've made peace with the Starks. We'll go and sell uh, everything we've got so that we can actually afford to hold this peace treaty with uh, by funding Eddard's war on somebody else, I guess. Um, yeah, let's, let's go and sell our stuff. Now that we can roam into Stark territory without being attacked. Not that that was an issue for us. We were just taking out more and more of their men. There's a hideout there. Now we take all the money out of Winterfell. Hey, Eddard, remember when we were friends before you declared war on me like the asshole you are? Yeah, it wasn't very nice of you, was it, buddy? Thought we were friends. Uh, sell this. 22 grand for just the armor we had on us. Correct wide heater shield. That's so heavy though. I don't want my character to be that slow. Um, we'll sell one of those. What's the best bow out of these? 83, 30, 31. I want high accuracy. We'll go the splinted, splinted hunting bow, I think is the way to go. So we'll kill, get rid of that. We'll lock that. Um, find the best arrows we've got. Large bag of barbed arrows is probably the best because they've got pierce. Yep. We'll sell all except for one. And then everything else, go. Hey, look, in just selling, we still haven't sold our weapons, guys, and we've made 52 grand. All right, let's go to the next town. This is gonna be one of the rebel settlements so that we can sell some things. Um, we're at Deepwood Mott, that's it. We'll head to Deepwood Mott, sell the rest of this stuff, and then we'll be sitting pretty, I think, at about 160K. Um, we'll actually be able to march against the Dread Fort with an army. The LF Theroy. Nah, we're not freeing anybody. Sorry, Boltons. You started this war. We're, you started this war. Plunge Skyrim into chaos. And now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. Sorry, I just remembered Skyrim as soon as I said that. I couldn't help it. Iconic intros. Alright. 130k. Not bad. Do we have recruits we can get here? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, we do. Go, go, go. You know what? We're going to take the Dreadfort this episode. 
That's it. I've decided it's going to happen. Wait, hold on. We should upgrade our party, shouldn't we? We'll save. We'll upgrade our party. We'll upgrade our skills. We'll go and fight these guys. We have a good bit of money now, so let's let's start pumping in some upgrades. Because the upgrades themselves cost a ridiculous amount of money. So we're already at three grand. If we had like 40 grand, this would not be effective. Northern recruits, we need more Stark soldiers. Just better soldiers in general. We have a lot of good archers. Stark Northern Wolf. Or, no, we've got the house guards. Andal Spears, Andal Men at Arms, Mandalay Archers. We've got some elite units in here as well. Um, this Dragonstone Footman, Reach Footman, Bolton Soldier, Stark Ranger. There you go, so seven, uh, 11 grand to upgrade our party. We made like 19 or 18 grand off the weapons we sold. Think about that, those weapons basically paid for our party to be upgraded. Now we go and recruit a bunch of peasants. Well, actually, we might not even need to. We might just be able to pull the men from the garrison at... What's the garrison at Carhold look like right now? Is it enough men that it would make a difference if I went in? I've only got 205 defenders. It's not really reasonable. Lock. Bolton Captain. Alright, we'll take Lock. And Vuck. Oh, please. Uh, I wanted to pull in more. We're at war. You heard me. Back down. Bam. Alright. We'll auto resolve fights with like 50 men because we're going to win that. And we're trying to get through this quick so that we can get into a siege. I need to weaken their forces to get a siege. Which means we need to find their uh, sort of bigger forces and their bigger lords and just take them out of the picture. Without their main lords, they can't do anything to stop us. Tattered commoner, hooded cloak. And a lot of stuff. Right, you guys are next. Thankfully for me, you're running towards my land. I'm Garland, who are you? You're, we're at war, you have 50 men. Sorry, I don't even think you're worth my time. Take your prisoners. Let's go to the next lot. Take out three lots of 50, that's 150 men down out of his army. Removing that, big brain. Uh, veil, knight, leather gloves, cracked mendley shield, worn Bolton boots. Nah. Chuck it all in here. More stuff to sell, baby. I don't know which places are even going to have the money for us to sell them things. Does the income of those guys, like, come back? Curious. The Benny's a lull. Oh, they're fighting for the Night's Watch currently. You guys realize the Night's Watch doesn't exist, right? I am Castle Black. I am Castle Black. Right, you're ours too. A little murder spree, bunch of quick battles and just collect their lords. Go and dump them all in the castle and keep moving. Like I said, we really got to do some damn character upgrades. I keep forgetting them. Make sure we don't just leave all of our loot over here like we were doing the other episode. It's absolutely amazing. A white cross gamer at 12 in the morning is not the greatest gamer, not going to lie. Uh, save. Get Visibrot. Go to the town of Visibrot and collect nothing because there's no recruits. Go to Carhold and collect nothing because there's still no recruits. Bookets. <laughs> Bookets. The town of Bookets. Why can we just not recruit there? I'm confused. Uh, happy I saved. I was kind of scared it was about to all go wrong. There's Walder. We need to capture her. It increases two-handed weapons. 
damage against mounts, infantry troops, uh, damage increased 10% against mounts. Again, have their damage increased by 10% against shields. Mounts, because it'll make our infantry force much more lethal to them. Um, all right, what's next on the upgrade list that I've got here? Let's have a look. Skills. Uh, go into my pictures on my phone. Let's look. Allocation. We've got five here. Two, 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 one. Oh, that's only on one. And we've got to get four in tactics. And three in leadership. We have like nothing in leadership currently. Tactics needs to be upgraded. It's a cap. And we need we know we're gonna level that up. It's not hard to level that skill. Like especially when you're running a full archer squad like we are. Alright guys, we'll look for like one try and force one more battle. Um might not be getting this siege done today. We'll hop off and I'll drop another episode tomorrow and we'll start that episode off with an all-out war against the Bolton Dreadfort. Uh, what do we got? That's a Bolton Captain. It's, it's more men, but is it really comparable as far as like combat abilities? Like perks and things like that? Does a captain have the same perks as a lord? Genuinely curious now. That's kind of nice if they do. Nutty even. Crazy. Rusty long war sword. Thrust damage 22. Swing damage 49. Thrust damage 7. Yeah, okay, no. <laughs> this is way better. Rusty long war sword, definitely not the go. Oh, but there's so many more men. I want to face that group. How dare they only have a hundred and... Whoa, that guy's... Look at that beautiful smile. He's so happy to see us. How... I don't know if we're, we should kill him. Ah, uh, well, we're not gonna. We're gonna only throwing him in a dungeon. He won't die. I'm sure they'll feed him. Last fight. He's 109 men. It's not a big battle, but... It's what we got. They're not grouping up into an army or anything, so it's not like I've got an army to actually challenge. It's just finding the parties of their lords and hunting them down. Thinning the herd and then taking the city. Oh, dude. This map is, uh... It's crazy. It actually kind of looks like the north, like with all the hills and stuff. And like the snow starting to come over the... Is that the ocean? Well, that's cool. We're fighting by the coast. Alrighty. Well, we already have the high ground, Anakin. It's over. Um, these guys, shield wall, cab to the rear. Ready, let's go. Come on, run at me. You know you want to. Let's see if he actually wants to. No, 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 they're running away. Chase them. Wait. They changed their mind, I think. Now they're just trying to reposition. Right, archers, skirmish. Right, they're not coming to us. They're running away. I need to find out what is going on with their men. There's their cav. Infantry's 100 meters off. Oh, wow. This is a really annoying little ridge. Although, it's going to be really annoying for their archers as well. That's all good. This is going to go great for us. Whoop. You've got like no vision over there, do you, bud? And move up. Oof. Caught that arrow right before it hit me in the face. My horse is getting shredded. Let's just get off the horse. Can they actually hit me from here? I don't think they can see me properly once I'm off the horse. Just run.
Wait, no, 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 no. Cavalry, you stay there. Archers, here. Infantry, here. You lot form a loose. Loose formation! Form a loose. Ah! Jesus Christ, they're shooting me with arrows again. Can you stop that? This is my arrow now. Ha ha! Now I have one arrow and a quiver with no bow. Fear me. See this? This is her dominance. They won't shoot arrows at me if I just collect their arrows. Maybe this is the strat. I just come and stand here and be stupid and waste all their arrows. And then my archers come up when they're out of ammo. My old strat used to just consist of shield walling until they used up all their ammo. But sometimes you just... Uh, if their archers are really good and have good pierce, you might actually lose men that way. It's not optimal. I'd rather just do this. Infantry is here so it can shield wall and push. They're shield walling towards us as is. Let's go. Our turn. Let's go, man. Push. We advance with the Starkhouse guards. Their cavalry appears to not know what they want to do. Shields, shields. Ah! Ah! Push them back. Defeat the Bolton scum. I'm out! Excellent! Whew. One of them disappeared. Whoop! Ah! Uh, I almost got on it. Look at the carnage of this hill. The dead horses. The men. The Bolton flags on the ground. 76 damage, cheeky. And then he got shot by an archer. <laughs> the king in the north! Guys, watch this jump, ready? You get a warm up, then you just. Jow! Oh my god, guys, I found the best, like, jumping map in the game for horses. Whee! Look at that jump distance. Tell me this horse is in the dragon secretly. Alright, that's going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. While I'm running around horse jumping, you guys can drop a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next episode. Jumping out!